My name is Maya Tavanati. That's M-I-A-T-A-V-O-N-A-T-T-I. -A -A okay. And I am the creator of Spalata. All right. And can you describe your art prize entry? Um, Spalata is a 7 foot by 13 foot stained glass mosaic. Um, she's, uh, it's the images of a woman in water. And she's dragging her banky around, I guess. You know, she's, I, I actually did the photo reference for it in Hawaii. did a photo shoot there in a tide pool, with the water surging in around me, and uh, it's entirely of stained glass. So I know when you see it from a distance, it looks like a painting. Yeah, it, it does. Good? It looks like a painting yeah. from 10 feet away. I've yeah. had people stand in front of it and go, can you tell us where the glass mosaic is? I'm yeah. like, you're looking at it. Get closer. Yeah, was that, the, was that the effect you were going for? Well, no. I mean, I'm a painter, and I'm a realistic painter, or a, a natural painter, and uh, so... When I do mosaics, I pretty much just try to make them look like my paintings. And yeah. I, this is actually the least detailed mosaic I've ever done. Yeah. So, but it's so much bigger, so it translates the same way. Mm -hmm. you know, if you do smaller, you do smaller pieces. You do bigger, you do bigger. Yeah. But yeah, she's pretty. She's pretty intense. Yeah. How'd you hear of Art Prize? I heard of Art Prize from a friend of mine, Joyce Maybe, who I grew up with in Iron Mountain, Michigan, in the UP. And we were working on raising funds for my foundation, the Splotch Foundation for the Arts, and he suggested I enter our prize. And I said, well, when does it start? He goes, well, it ended three days ago. <laughs> so I spent the year working on other projects and trying to line up funding for it because uh, you know, it's quite a monumental project to undertake. And uh, it was challenging, especially during a recession. And uh, I had two students work for me and my sister Tara. And uh, we did 2,700 hours of work in 11 weeks. And, uh, I haven't had a day off, 14 days, 14 hour days for 13 weeks now. So, yeah, so, nice, but you know it's worth it. And I, I've always known what she's here for. So yeah, yeah, it's so. nice to be to the next step and have it. You know, it's very, very gratifying to know that the work that I put into it is, is paying off and it's making people cry. And that's pretty much what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah, good cry, not bad cry. Yeah. You know? So how's it feel to be in the top ten? Oh, um, great, you know, it's a relief, that's what it is. It's, uh, I mean, I, I've just kind of always known, I've just been really focused. I haven't paid attention to much of anything here except connecting with people and getting people there to see the work and answering their questions and being the bridge between them and, and, and my work by telling them how it's made. I must have answered the same questions a thousand times, you know. But, you know, it's different, it means something different for everybody and everybody wants to connect with the artist and I, I think that's invaluable to help familiarize people with art yeah. and their own creativity so yeah. you know if you if you step back and you don't want to interact people are going to be more intimidated by that and then they're not going to be creative in their own lives so yeah. Yeah. you know it's, I think it's important to really be there for them yeah. so last question what, what would you want people to know seeing your piece I want people to know that um, everybody, everybody has a creative spark. You know, we're born with it. It's the one thing I think we're born with, and um, and I want them to know that magic is still possible you know, if you just do the work and make the choices and, and, and don't listen to what everybody else says. You and you focus on whatever you're great at. You know, it'll eventually pay off. Eventually, it, it's a it's a long, hard. Road. I mean, in, in the arts, I mean, everybody says no. Everybody says no. Don't. You shouldn't. You couldn't. You wouldn't. You know. But it's not true. And if you in anything, I don't care if you're doing. You want to be an artist or a lawyer. You, you got to do what you love and, you, and and learn to do it really well. You know. And it'll pay off. And my mentors taught me that years and years and years ago. And I've. Of course, I'm so stubborn that nobody. You know, you say no to me, and it's the perfect reason to do it. You know, it's like. Wait. And, and people here, you know, it was 1,700, over 1,700 artists, you know, what's the percentage? I'm like, eh, sounds like good, you know, good odds to me, <laughs> But, yeah, I want people to look at her and be reminded of beauty and what's possible.